I'm Tony Beshera, and I'm going to help you do better at finding a job. He is listed by Fordyce Magazine as the number one headhunting career placement guy in the country. The number one guy. His name's Tony Bashira. Robert, you responded to our ad uh, yes. for, for doing this, and so I thought I would ask most of the participants as to why. I'm always up for something different, a, a new adventure, uh, so to speak, and I've been looking for a job for a while and nothing else has really seemed to be working. So okay, so you might as well give this a I, shot. I figured, you know, um, why not? Yeah. Um, on a lark, I thought, you know, I'll send in my resume and see what happens, and okay. here I am. And then I called. Okay, very good. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, since 2009 to present, you've been with a firm by the name of CCI Trust. What do they do and what have you well, been doing for them? Uh, the CCI trust thing is my mother-in-law died a couple years ago mm -hmm. and left a number of properties, a couple of businesses and that type of thing. And my brother-in-law uh, is not a businessman, he's a salesman. So I stepped in because my background is in business and in finance and I was able to look at things, help transition some of the customers. Uh, what kind of business were they in? It was an oil and filter supply company. Oh, okay. How big a company? Small, family held. I also did a consulting job, a contract job for uh, technical diagnostics. Worked with them in Fort Worth for a couple of months, looking at some of their processes, streamlining some things for them. Business process, uh, business, engineering process? Businesses, uh, business process, primarily payroll, accounting. Had you had experience in doing that kind of thing before? Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, when I was with um, DZ, DZ Atlantic. What do they do? The DZ stands for Day and Zimmerman. Oh, it does. And actually uh -huh. what happened was in 2005, 2006, the owner, Dennis McLaughlin of the Atlantic Group, decided, you know, I want to buy them. And he started talking to them and realized, well, this isn't going to work out. And then Day and Zimmerman said, why, why don't, don't we, we buy, buy you? you? Right. What, what kind of job have you been looking for? Because you fall in that category of being able to do a lot of different things but a master of absolutely nothing perfect. Yeah, and, and that's kind of the, the issue I've been having is because I can do anything, I've done everything, and I've done it well and I've done it successfully. But the problem is is that when somebody looks at my resume and they think, where am I gonna put this person? And I try and tell them that you put me anywhere and I'm going to succeed because I, I look at myself as you know a finance, a project, a production, and a budget controls analyst type person. What um, kinds of interviews have you had, and how have you been getting them? I, I've had a, a couple of interviews um, for production. How long, how long a period of time? Uh, we two months. Have you? How long have you been looking actively? On and off for 27 months hmm. um, okay. since I left DZ Atlantic. Okay, so. For in 27 months, a couple of interviews. Yes. Two or three. Yes. Okay. All right. How did they leave it with you when you? Well, the gentleman said that they were interviewing a couple more people. Okay. Did you so, follow up with them? Yes. I, I sent okay. him a thank you note. All right. Give him a call. And have called twice um, and sent him another email and haven't heard any response back. So I, okay. I as I told him, I said, yep. Yeah, I would appreciate a call back, even if the answer is no, just yeah. you know, so I can just move so on you know. and, and yeah. chalk this up to experience yeah. and, and go from there. What are you looking for, the 60, 70, 80 range? 70, 80. Right. Um, you know, okay. I, I'm, I'm at a point in my life where, because of my family's businesses yes. and the properties, we have income coming in. Um, you know, my house is paid for, my cars are paid for. All right, amen. You know, my, Good finance guy. Yeah. You know, tell people, um, my, I've watched my own finance. My house yeah. paid for, my car's paid for, I'm in no debt. Um, I love hearing you know, that. My retirement is taken care of as long as I don't spend it now yeah, and well, I can pay to get my kids to college. Are your kids in college yet? No. Oh. No. Oh. No. Yeah. Well, whatever they tell you it's going to cost, double it. At least. At least. At okay. Least. And then yeah. after they get out, you think, yeah. oh, they're off the payroll. Don't count on it. No. Yeah, no. No, no, no. No. Okay. I'm, well, you still need to go to work, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All yes. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So the, the challenge that guys like you have with your experience is you're a jack of all trades and a master of none. That's very difficult for people to pick up on a resume. Here are some of my suggestions. It's not likely you're going to find a job by sending your resume to somebody. Mm -hmm. There yes. are 59,000 businesses in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. <laughs> Tons of them are these small manufacturing, distribution types of organizations, mm -hmm. chemicals, rubber, distribution, that kind of thing. 
that could use somebody that understands manufacturing and also understands the finance and accounting. You got a master's degree, an undergraduate BA degree, and you've worked for big ones, little ones, and everything like that. Yes. So what I would suggest you do is go to the manufacturer's guide. You can even do it online. Uh -huh. Pick up the phone and call every damn one of them. Okay. But you know it's around because there's somebody out there that needs you. You're at a yeah. reasonable price and you've got some tremendous experience. Mm -hmm. Well, I can definitely call. And then and keep a copy of what you do and what you say and who you call them and call them back every 30 to 45 days. If you follow yeah. the instructions in my books, you're not going to have any problem at all. Okay. 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 And then why don't you give me a call uh, Monday or Tuesday and I'll get you in touch with one of my associates and see if we might be able to help you. Okay, well, I'd appreciate okay. that. All right, very yeah. good. Pleasure meeting you, Robert. Yes. Appreciate your time. Thanks for coming yeah. over. Robert is really an interesting candidate. I didn't want to hurt his feelings, but having three interviews in 27 months, cut it out. He's just not being very motivated. I mean, he did say it. And when I coach him about finding a job, I'm going to tell him that he needs to be careful of saying, hey, I don't need a lot of money. I, my, everything's paid for. Life is really good because he comes across as not motivated at all. Robert is going to somewhere along the line think that his age is going to stand in his way. In many ways, it's not. But he has to be more motivated. He has to come across more aggressively. He has to come across as, I want a job, and I'm willing to do everything I can to get a job, and I want to go to work for you. It's almost that he's too comfortable, and it's coming across as too easy. And, you know, three interviews in 27 months, not so good. But the thing is, we can probably fix that. When he calls my office on Monday, uh, I'll let him have it a little bit and, uh, and, and, get, him, and get him off the dime.